Gizmo 305. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gizmo 305. Today I'm coming at you with a brand new customs and fix-ups video here as promised guys. So I hope you guys like all of this customs and fix-ups. As always guys, you guys already know how to let me know. If you like this video, hit it up with a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. But without further ado guys, now let's go ahead and get started with today's video. And we're going to start off with none other than then the Texans Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now this is a fix up that it just came to me guys to make. So it's super easy. Now I'm not just going to show you the customs and fix ups. I'm going to start helping you guys out. Make your own if you guys do like them. Now the way I went about making this right here. I had extra pieces from the Ultimate Edition Austin. As you can see the shirt right there. And also you know the same shirt on the back. The necklace. Most of you know the parts came from there. But what I went ahead and did the brand new uh, Billy Gun. I went ahead and grabbed those pans. You can also, I believe, get these with a Champa if you still have it, which I you know it's the same exact pans. But I don't know for some reason I felt weird about cutting those out. You can go ahead and make them into shorts like this, and there you go. Now you have yourself a Stone Cold Steve Austin promo uh, Stone Cold right there. Uh, if you're a fan of the Attitude Era, this looks pretty freaking cool for some pig feed, or if you want to just go ahead and display it and take pictures like i did on my instagram guys which i'm gonna put the link down here so you guys can go check those pictures out as well but stone cold is thirsty as you can see he's carrying those cans of beer so let's go ahead and let the man drink them oh hell yeah and there it is now stone cold finally getting to drink down his beer now if you guys do like this figure right here as you can see i went ahead and share you know the way that you go about making this so if you want to go ahead and you know make your own make sure you uh, hit me up on instagram and show me pictures because this right here looks freaking awesome and i love it all right guys and now let's go ahead and move on with the next figure here today which is going to be none other than the five time five time five time wcw champion and united states champion as well now booker t right here this is it was more of a fix up i did do some paint work with him when it comes to the gloves because you know we have not gotten any white gloves like this so i want to have to go ahead and do the paint work for this but if you guys remember back in uh the late ruthless aggression era it was uh, booker t getting drafted to smackdown and that's where this attire right here comes from so he was feuding with eddie at first and he moved on to benoit in the united states championship and well here we have booker t right there from that era which i want to say was around 2004 so we have the booker right there on the boots with the white gloves right there that same uh, pair of trunks that he only wore i believe about a total of three or four times i do remember him wearing this definitely at wrestlemania 19 against triple h is where he debuted this gear and uh, a couple other times one of them being on smackdown and here we have booker t looking freaking sick so the way you go about making this as i said you're gonna want to paint those gloves in white you can do a head swap with any booker t elite that you've had previously with that you know head scan as you know the one that comes with the wrestlemania uh elite is not the accurate uh length of the hair and you can just add one of the knee pads that comes with the stone cold steve austin the the basic series 100 and there you have it right there booker t could be displayed like this looking freaking sick as hell and i'm gonna bring it just up close just so you guys can take a closer look at that uh there it is there's a glove you see the paint right there onto it and uh the championship you just gotta have uh, one of the old united states championship and you can display them just like this so freaking sick i love this booker t and now let's move on to the next figure all right guys and now coming to you straight out of the 619 a uh, local hero for everybody no and it is not nia Jax. We are talking about the cover boy for 2K22. Here it is, Rey Mysterio, man, looking freaking awesome. Now, this Elite 88 Rey Mysterio, I know you're looking at it right now, and you're like, Gizmo, what did you do to this one? Why is it on customs and fix-ups? I'm going to explain that to you. Now, this right here, no work done, but I'm going to bring it up close because, yeah, this is important to touch on. This right here, you see that mask? This is what this man is known for. That eye patch right there, that was from the feud with Rollins when you know Rollins ran his eye into the steps. And I know that's accurate and in all this and all of that. And it, but to me, it just bothers me to see one eye all completely black and the other one all, you know, like you can see the actual eye. So it bothered me a lot to the point that when I got an extra one, 
I had to do something. And here we have it. I went ahead and painted the other eye. So I actually evened it out and it made it look a lot cooler in my opinion. So as you can see right there, that's the work I did. Now with the extra one, here we go. Now I'm gonna bring it up close so you guys can take a look at this one. Look how much nicer that looks right there. And I don't know if you're catching this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. But not only did I paint it, this eye right here, you know, with the black, you see the red outline on the other one right here on the left, on my left right here? Yeah, you see it? That was not painted on. I went ahead and added that paint right there. And I just, I don't know. I just kind of like the look of this right here. It just looks freaking awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the shirt. As you guys know, this is removable. And I'm going to put it side by side right now, as you can see right there, with like the actual in-ring gear. And it just still, it just looks that much better. I really like it. So let me go ahead and take this one out of here. This is the custom work I did on this Rey Mysterio's mask right there. Every Everything else, Mattel took care of that for us, man. Looking freaking awesome. And this is the gear he's wearing on the front cover for 2K22. So I was just, I just had to do something with this. And there it is, Rey Mysterio, straight from the 619. All right, guys, and for this next figure, as we're talking about heroes, come on, we cannot talk about heroes and not bring this guy in, right? The actual WWE's resident superhero, the Hurricane. Here it is. This figure looks freaking sick. Now, this, how I went about making it, I'm going to let you know right now. But if you, if you guys know, brand new Series 13 on the Legend Target exclusive figures that we did a review for here on the channel. I showed you guys how it came with the perfect set of pants. So what you want to do, uh, as you guys can see right here, I just went and used the bottom half of that Elite and I swap the upper torso. I posted pictures of this on Instagram. And you actually want to just do that right there. And there you guys have it. You can actually have this hurricane looking like this. Let's remove that cape as I just did right there. And we're going to put them like that with just the actual gear. There it is. And it just still, it looks freaking awesome, guys. It just looks amazing. Now, you guys might be wondering, Gizmo, what did you do with the rest of the pieces? Well, allow me to show you had to put them on somewhere right and it just made this happen and i think that this still looks freaking sick it was something i was not intending on making now let me move this guy right here a little bit over so you guys can take a clear look right here it is it just looks awesome look at those arms i like how it has you know those uh black forearms you know right there and it just matches with the pants and the mask it just looks awesome man those armbands look awesome i really dig how this hurricane looks now let me go ahead and bring this one also in here yeah this color right here man i think that green i don't know if i'm seeing it here if you guys want to try this one right here you guys all you have to do is a head swap onto this hurricane and an arm swap from you know the original legend series that's the only that's the way you go about making this but when you have it in front of you yeah you're gonna be able to see that this green matches perfectly with the mask and man i'm gonna put on the cape in a second and show you how that looks all together but we can't have him right there. And I couldn't just display the hurricane like that. I had to go ahead and buy me a Rosie. And here we have them. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Rosie and the Hurricane. There they are. Looking freaking awesome. This is how it displays right there in my collection. And, you know, I'm just saying, man, this looks freaking sick. Let me move him a little bit over to the side so you guys can see that right there. Allow me actually to put the cape on this one as you guys see that right there. So basically, as I said, all you have to do is a head swap from your original Hurricane Elite onto, you know, the bo the bottoms from the New Legend series and do a upper torso you know a torso crack and swap onto uh those uh, bottoms but here it is the hurricane now with the cape and i'm telling you it looks freaking awesome i'm not even gonna lie look at that that looks on freaking believable i dig this a lot now one thing that i mentioned when i was doing the review uh for the legend series 13 hurricane is that you know, the way that they're using and the way that they're, you know, molding now the masks onto the head scans. Yeah, they can do this for future canes and it's going to look freaking sick. I know. Listen to me, Mattel. Do that work with the future elite canes. It's going to look freaking sick. But now let's move on to the next figure on today. All right, guys. And for the next figure, staying with the theme of masks, 
we have none other than the greatest to wear a mask in WWE. Kane, the big red machine here on today's fix-ups and customs looking amazing as only he can look. Now, the way I went about making this cane look as sick as it does, bringing him up close, do you see that hair swap right there? Once I saw the Ultimate Edition had that mask right there, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect looking mask. Because up until this point, all we had was, you know, the Jax R3 Tech uh, head scans and Mattel knocked it out of the park with this right here. So I went ahead and, you know, just uh, painted over this black hair, so added some brown, the same style cane I uh, had back then. And I also uh, swapped out the boots because the ones that come with the Ultimate Edition are not as nice as this one's right here. I like this style. And I also added the shine. So what you need in order to make this right here is you're going to want to replace the hair with what? With the Drew McIntyre hair piece. Now you can use what I use, which is the Survivor Series Drew McIntyre head scan. The extra head scan you get. And all you want to want to do is remove that, add it on to this mask cane. And for the shining on the boots, you're going to need clear nail polish. You just go and give a couple coats here and there. And it's going to give you that shine right there now this is one of if not my favorite cane in my collection right now and i'm gonna tell you it, it could be one off because i'm gonna share a couple more here with you so let's go ahead and move this one right here because up next i'm gonna share another fix up kind of fix up custom cane so here we go from his ruthless aggression era now this right here guys i had to have the perfect looking cane because if you guys know the one that we receive, you know, with the decade of domination did not have all this detail. Now, a lot of things were missing, even though it was as close as we've come. Uh, it's not perfect by far. So here we have it. Same Drew McIntyre hairpiece because that's the style cane uh, looks the best on, at least in my opinion, and is the style that he wore for so many years. Now, the only thing I'm missing, as you can see right here to add on to it, is a the strap that goes down here on the bottom of the mask. Uh, but if you guys remember, Kane did have this goatee right here. And I also went ahead and swapped that head scan in order for him to have that go to right there. So the head scan you're going to want to go with is either an Undertaker or a Triple H. And it, they are the only ones that have, you know, the same or I mean, should I say the the accurate look uh, for a goatee that matches Kane. And also down here, I went ahead and added the knee pads because he does not come with this. And you have to, you know, add some paint work right there to try to make it as accurate as possible. So now I am definitely loving this game. This looks freaking amazing. And it is also uh, one of my first when it comes to that style and that look. This is my number one cane right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move them to the side because we have a third one. We have a third uh, favorite demon right here, a third week red machine to show you guys. And that is this one right here on another one of his most iconic looks from Survivor Series. But look at that head scan, man. That looks freaking sick. This cane got leveled up big time. And in my opinion, all you need ultimate edition head scans this is what you get extras buddy and you repaint that to make it look like this man looks freaking sick and i know a lot of you are noticing that belt yep there it is i also use the ultimate edition belt as you guys remember this game did not come with that detail i went ahead and added on one like the one that he has from the ultimate edition and it's not gonna you know render your figure unmovable so i glued it on but the figure still moves, you know, if I want to move it all the way around, it still has that movement right there. I glued it just right. And I also added that shine to the boots, as you can see right there. Man, this figure got leveled up. This is the way that we should have got it from Mattel. Man, that looks freaking sick. And I also went ahead and painted the other head scan right there, as you can see, for Kane. So you're going to want to be as close as perfect you when it comes to the lines. I can just go ahead and swap that. I'm going to kind of show it to you like this. So you can see kind of how that looks. But it looks freaking awesome, guys. I love these canes. These are my three favorite canes in my collection by far. And I freaking love them. Because, I mean, just look at how simple the work to just do repaint. Add some nail polish. And you can have this right here. That's how you go about making the devil's favorite demon. The big red machine 
Kane. All right, guys, and up next, we have an Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, here on Customs and Fix-Ups, and look how sick this looks right here. I just love that attire. Now, I know Kurt Angle has never worn this, at least not in this order of look. So uh, if you want to go ahead and make yourself uh, this fantasy attire, let me go ahead and share that with you. you. As you can see, the torso, the singlet, as I say, is from a network spotlights Kurt Angle. It entrance grates, or there was a basic, I don't remember the, the series that you can go about getting the head scan from. The knee pads is a retro fest, uh, Jim Duggan. And the boots from a Kurt Angle Elite 59. So that's all you're going to need in order for you to make this figure right here. And I mean, I'm just saying this looks freaking awesome. And it looks like something that could have been possible for him to wear back in the Attitude Era, which is uh, where I display this Kurt Angle. Because I mean, still, even though he never wore it, this was uh, the singlet that he used on his retirement match actually against Corbin, which it was it's quite a shame. Uh, that he lost that match. I mean, this looks freaking awesome. And I love it. So if you do like it, hit me up on Instagram. And let me know if you actually made this figure. Or any of the customs and fix-ups I've shared up until this point. Or any of the future ones. But this right here, it's awesome. Oh, it's true. It's true. All right, and up next, it's time to get rated R here on this customs and fix-ups. And you guys already know, I had to have my boy. I had to make Edge a figure here and add him on to this video so this right here if you guys don't know is from when he won the wwe championship against john cena and on the same night before that uh which it was you know the pay-per-view called new year's revolution he faced rick flair uh he had a little bit of a feud going on with him this is the attire that he wore and it's not so much you know the rated r superstar low which was the debut attire right here is those kick pads is these boots right here we have never gotten mattel to make these on an elite they made them on a basic and i hope they continue uh in the future and make them in an elite or in an ultimate edition which will be even better which is the choice that i went with for this figure right here but nonetheless this is an iconic look for etch and i just had to have it on my collection and as you can see right here there you guys have it now i added that rated r vest right there as you can see so that you know it can look freaking sick but now let's get into how you make it so here we go ultimate edition edge is what you're going to need for a base you paint the tights in black completely I'm going to add some decals, as you can see right there, for the R on the front and on the side. And as well for the kick pads, you're just going to paint that on silver right there on the front. And then you add the uh, logos right there, you know, the decals as well. And there you guys have it. That's how you go about making this rated R superstar, which now I'm going to go ahead and move here to the side. Because we have, yes, sir, you guessed it. We have another one coming. And this one, oh my God. This one is a little broody right here. As you can see, Edge from the Brood at SummerSlam. And I was live, guys. This is unbelievable. I was there live when Edge was wearing this. I was actually there in Las Vegas. We took a trip. Me and my amazing, beautiful, lovely wife, who actually uh, was the one with the idea, hey, how would you like to go to Vegas and watch edge live at SummerSlam, and i said hell yeah now here we have them as you can see how i went about making the coat right there as well adding some uh logos as well right there in the coloring but the difference is i've seen a lot of people make these edges right here i never see nobody make the sleeves of actual cloth material sub goods right there yep this is sub goods so you can actually move the arms i'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now and bend it as much as you want this is sub good material. Yup. There you guys have it. Now I'm going to turn it around. See the back of the jacket right there. Drink the cup. The brood right from the cup. The brood. There you guys have that logo right there on to the side. And uh, on the inside man. Oh man. Once I take this jacket off. You see this head scan right here. I also added the glasses on there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. The head scan. And I'm going to go ahead and take off the jacket which is going to be a lot easier than taking, you know, that hard, just that hard material. Because this, uh, that's the whole reason and the idea behind adding soft goods to the sleeve is so that it will be a lot easier to remove. And there you guys go. Just like that, you take it off one end. And this one right here, now we'll just 
completely slide off now i didn't get it there you go i didn't get a good grip but look at this right here this is what i want you guys to see the jacket looking freaking awesome now i'm gonna go ahead and put it back there because here we have them here we have the man and you see the tights right there now i'm gonna go ahead and put on that head scan once again there it is looking freaking awesome i love how this came out the tights right there in black you see the logos right there on the side on the kick pads all in red all around man red and black brood colors definitely had to have this edge in my collection and there we have them now i don't know why it does it stand a little bit weird but there it is there is the rated r superstar brood from SummerSlam 2021 and there you guys have them once you put the elbow pads now i did want to share that with you guys um it does come with the actual elbow pads i went ahead and painted those as well in there uh and added the logos as you can see right there all around adding every single bit of the detail now once you swap out the head i kind of like this one a lot better uh for just displaying them like this but this is his complete look in ring gear rated our superstar edge like i said from SummerSlam 2021 which once again i was there live and it was a freaking awesome match and i love to have this now in figure form in my collection all right guys and now let's move on to the next figure here on today's video and it's going to be a great one and what i do mean by that is the great one we have the rock here today and as you can see right there I had to make his Ruthless Aggression era look. Now, this look we have not gotten from Mattel yet. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up close so you guys can see right there the head scan. But you do see them trunks right there with that blue that says The Rock right on the front. That That is his 2002 look. And uh, I haven't seen Mattel yet make this for us. I had to have it. So here, I'm a big fan. Blue is my favorite color. So here you see the Brahma Bull in the back as well in that blue and on the front. And man, I had to make this figure. Making it was quite some fun. So I'm going to tell you what you need. You just need an Elite Rock. You're going to want to paint the trunks black and then hit up my friend curb stomp decals on instagram and get yourself some rock decals now he does have blue red green and uh, even gold i believe i'm currently working on the red one so that's another one to come in the near future that i'm going to be making i had to make that blue one right there because i am a huge fan of blue and i'm a huge fan of the rock but with that guys we're gonna move on to another rock figure that i just recently made and here it is guys this is an ultimate edition rock now you guys know that you know mattel has made us two rock ultimate editions one of them was an amazon exclusive which is in this attire right here and it's going for insane amounts of money like i mean insane something i'm not willing to pay so i had to figure it out and i made my own with you know some upgrades actually this one turned out to be a lot better so i'm going to bring it up close as you can see right here you do see that head scan right there and uh, for those of you who follow me on instagram i had posted this before i updated the head scan and i went with this one right here because i feel like it looks a lot better now for the trunks same thing you're gonna add some paint onto it and hit up curb stomp you get the logos from him there you go on that red and back here you do see that brahma bull now turning it around you also see those elbow pads yeah that's something that that amazon exclusive i don't believe it has but here we have it and man like i said when i mean that this is an upgrade you still got the butterfly joint movement like you see it right there the butterfly joint movement that you get with the latest the newest rock is all right here so you're not missing any of this action now what you want to do in order to make this i pretty much just told you painting it getting decals from the championship showdown uh with the rock and triple h that basic you can get these elbow pads right here put them on right onto the figure and when it comes about the tattoos just remove them and grab uh whatever you might have you know whether it is uh, acetone or nail polish or whatever and just go right on to uh work right here 
where the tattoos would be you kind of you know still see a little bit of remains right there but not as much and uh, go ahead and remove that and you will have yourself that rock figure with a lot more joint movement and just looking so much better and not for nowhere near the price that you would pay for that on ebay or somewhere else from some scalper and just like that you can out that figure into your collection meanwhile you can get yourself your in your hands on that right there now one other way that you can make this the same and uh if you don't want to go through the whole decal issue which i'm going to look into doing that is you see that mick foley uh two pack that just came out the elite two pack you can use that elite rock you know bottom when it comes to the trunks and all the other pieces and just do a torso swap onto that and it might just look a lot better and you would actually get mattel parts i think i'm gonna go that route myself and uh all you will still have to do is remove the tattoos on this right here but at the end it would look freaking awesome i just love how this one looks right now and i'm just going to display it like this in my collection but for future uh reference i'm probably going to be doing that guys and i'm going to be bringing that one here and showing you how it looks at the end of everything but for now i'm just happy i have this and it's in my collection and i can display it looking freaking awesome and now guys we're moving on towards the end of this video but man were we getting into almost the best part here and i know how you guys like yourself some hardy customs right so here we go we have a hardy here on the channel so there is jeff freaking hardy now this one was a fix up actually i just went ahead and did a couple of swaps when it comes you know to um the arms i swapped those out because i wanted to have this look one black uh sleeve and one in white just like he wore back in 2002 when he wore this um i don't know this i want to say sure but it's more like a jersey right a hardy jersey and uh yeah once he had that uh matt hardy of course I, we have to make that happen so how does what matt hardy look back then well here you guys have them and this neon green this is the perfect look of how they wore this now matt hardy yeah definitely would wear this uh style more like this with the purple and the green than jeff did but at the time this will be the perfect look now we did not just make these and this was a custom now i'm gonna like i said gonna go ahead and share all the details on these figures but give me one second because this is not the only hardies we have here today as i've shown you before and i saw just this earlier when i was actually putting them together this looks freaking sick look how matt and Jeff would look like this. This looks unfreaking believable. I think I like this. Let me remove this one for a second. Just so you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about right here. Look how cool this freaking looks right there, guys. Yeah, no, I am loving this look. I think I'm going to be displaying these in this form from here on out. Let me go ahead and move this Jeff Hardy back here for now. And, uh, so he can still be on the frame because we're going to be taking a look at a couple other hardies here on this video and the one other one i made man and this one is one that's very very special to me because i love the way this one turned out now i'm gonna go ahead and move matt back here we're gonna put this jeff right there because it looks so cool right next to him and the other jeff hardy right there so we can take a look at this man look i'm gonna bring it up close because you guys have to see this bro this looks amazing i love to do hardy boy fix-ups like you guys have no idea i just freaking love it and with this shirt i feel like this hardy looks amazing the black with the red from his hair and the green now this is a look that he had back in 2003 once the hardys split up matt went to smackdown jeff stayed on raw this was one of the looks that jeff hardy had and once i was able to see that matt the mattel actually was going to be making us uh you know this sleeves i was like yeah we'll, we'll definitely have to make that and here we have it guys and that looks awesome but playing with that same style head scan that we got from that elite two pack uh of jeff hardy and triple h look at this idea man tell me this is not one of the coolest fix-ups you've seen jesus this looks freaking awesome i love the red and it just pours out on this Jeff Hardy. You see the hair right there, that red on the hair, 
the red on that shirt and man this looks amazing this mesh shirt i love it now i'm gonna bring it up closer you guys can take a look at it right there look how sick in that necklace right there on point looking sick just like jeff hardy would wear you know like i said back on those years ruthless aggression era at its finest right here with this jeff hardy and i freaking love this look when it comes to hardy so these are some of the hardy boys customs and fix-ups that i've done recently as you guys know these right here look unbelievable and i know you guys love to see hardy boys here on the channel so i'm gonna make sure to try and have some hardy boy love here uh once every time i make a custom a fix up i'll try to bring one in at least one or a couple of them so that you guys can enjoy here on the channel but now let's go and figure out how to make these and let you guys know and exchange share that with you guys so in order to make this one right here the way i made it the what you're gonna need is to buy that ringside exclusive two-pack elites and if you already have that you know you have that necklace and you know you have that belt so you have the base pretty much you need the elite two-pack with triple h for that head swap onto this red hair and you're gonna need to have somebody or make yourself a mesh custom shirt like this in red uh and then you're gonna put it onto it and that's the way you go about making this jeff hardy right here that's all the the pieces and parts that you're gonna need to make that one right there now this one here on the back it's not as complicated as the one on the front because you know once you have that lead two pack you're pretty much going to have you know the uh the the sleeves right here that you see on to the jeff hardy the black sleeves as you can see so you're going to have these armbands already there all you're going to need is to have a custom shirt made like this with that jeff hardy uh, logo now i know we got this one from mattel but it was kind of like a throw over it wasn't an actual shirt and it wasn't made out of self goods so unless you want to have the self goods it's going to have to be some custom work or you can also use like i said the one that mattel gave us and there you go ahead and have this jeff hardy right there for the one here on the front now this one if you guys know we got it in a basic with the undertaker in a championship showdown so to make it an elite what you're going to need is the body of a series 75 elite jeff hardy and you guys know that he comes with that blue coloring here on the arm so you're going to have to make the right color and then paint over it like skin tone color just like this actually in order for it to match you know jeff hardy so you're going to want to do that and then on this side, you're going to use, you know, the, the arm with the sleeve from the uh, Triple H and uh, Jeff Hardy 2-pack. That's the one that comes with this arm like this. Now, if you can see the black um, armband, it's not the same style that you get with the ringside exclusive. Now, one is longer, one is shorter. You're going to want to use the one that comes with the Triple H Elite 2-pack because it'll be in this style and uh, you're just kind of going to want to paint over on the face as you can see that green area up on top i kind of added a little bit more of that green color and once you do that well there you go you can have yourself this jeff hardy not only on like transform from basic into an elite now for the one in the very back this one's the, the one that had a little bit more work done to it not only did i swap you know the armbands right here as you can see the white one right there the sleeve on this side and the black one on this side the face i use the survivor series elite head you guys remember the survivor series jeff hardy now the hair piece it was a hair piece swap from the uh, ringside exclusive so there it is onto that survivor series jeff hardy then you throw that triple h two-pack shirt or jersey here onto it and that's how you go about making this right here. So you're going to need a little bit more work on this one because you're going to want to have to remove the hair, you know, that was kind of like braided from the Survivor Series to put on this hair piece right there onto this Jeff Hardy in order for you to make it uh, and have it looking just like this, which is the accurate look. If you go and look it up, uh, that is the accurate look for that Jeff Hardy. All right. Now, and now for the Matt Hardy, which is the last one here. It's the easiest out of the set. Now, one or two things that you can do once you order that ringside exclusive Hardy Boys Brute 2 pack, um, you can use that Matt Hardy base. All you're going to do is a head swap from the SummerSlam. Uh, either way, you're going to do the SummerSlam or the ECW ringside exclusive uh, Elite uh, head. You're going to swap it on to um, that torso and you throw in the elbow pads as you can see right there and that custom shirt whether you make it or you know somebody that makes custom shirts that's how you want to go about making this matt hardy other than that you can use the triple h two pack to come with the jeff hardy like i said use a jeff swap the head onto that body 
because that body works perfectly since he did not have any tattoos on him so that would work just fine but you're gonna have to paint the sleeves so be aware of that the sleeves on my heart you'll have to do some work which is what i did with this one i had to paint it on i didn't have any more of those brute uh matt hardy's laying around and i didn't have any more that i wanted to you know kind of mess with i just want to leave them like the way they are so that's how you go about making you know this matt hardy and like i said it's not just for this style you can just swap on that shirt and you can have any matt hardy from whether it's ruthless aggression or attitude era whichever one you enjoy you can actually have them looking like that and make them look in that style so here it is, guys. That's how you go about making all of these uh, Hardy Boys, whether it's Jeff or Matt Hardy. And uh, I hope you guys like these. And if you guys do make any of these, please hit me up on Instagram, as I've said. I'd like to see your work, and I'd like to see how everything turned out for you. But now, without further ado, let's get down to the next figure here on this video because it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, and it is now time to take a look at none other than Mr. WrestleMania, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, here on the channel. And this custom right here man is one of my favorites i've done recently guys one because i love this attire for Shawn michaels and i loved i wanted to have it for so long in a figure form and i knew my tell chances were that they were not going to make this so i went ahead and made it myself and as you can see this is from his 2003 world heavyweight championship run with that hbk logo on all three sides of his tights and i'm gonna bring it up closer you can see right there on the side on the back and on the other side uh the boots right there all silver the red on the back of the knee pads and that's how you go about making this awesome looking figure man this right here it's one of my favorite Shawn michaels i have in my collection this is from his match with rvd on raw for the world heavyweight title back in 2003 and um i just love it man i just decided one day to make it now how you go about making it i'm going to share that with you in a second but let me uh just tell you i was sitting there and i'm like how can i come up with you know the perfect Shawn michaels that i want so i started adding the pieces so all you're gonna need is a base Shawn michaels elite uh body so once you have that the series 100 head scan does wonders for this because it's literally what he was uh what he looked like so spot on series 100 head scan you're gonna paint all that in black if you have a Shawn michaels already with like black tights uh you could make this on the ultimate edition i don't recommend that though since that figure is you know going for a lot of money and chances are you're never gonna probably get your hands on another one uh for a good decent price which is the way the reason that i went with an elite instead of the ultimate but this would look so much sick sicker in an ultimate edition uh paint it black then you're gonna add these knee pads paint the red on the back of them and then add the decals once again curb stump coming through with the decals you add that right there, the Shama, the HBKs all the way through. Uh, there are some parts that you're going to need to cut the decal right there on there. So make sure you're, you take your time because you need to be very precise when you apply that. And then the boots right there, you, you're you going to want to paint a little bit of that silver right there onto the boots. But once you do that, this is the final result. And I mean, guys, come on. You guys cannot say this figure is not freaking amazing. It looks unbelievable. And I love the fact that I finally have it in my collection. But now let's go ahead and move on and take a look at the final figure here today. But not because of that is the least. Is the final, is the last, but not the least. And you guys, I hope you guys like it. So let's get to it. All right. And with that, let's get started. Now, you guys do uh, remember I shared with you my Hulk Hogan ultimate edition custom now this was a custom i made uh, a little while ago and uh, the reason is i wanted to have this hulk hogan in this version now mattel recently just made us an elite with this style of look not the same exact one but close now let me go ahead and remove the boas from the figure so that you can actually take a look at the figure itself as you can see right there i'm using the ultimate edition uh figure shirt right here for this figure the head scan is from an R3T uh, Tech head scan from Jax. And then I paint it on to uh, the tights right there. As you can see, so the red, the yellow, and all the, the knee pads, the white outline, you know, those knee pads never have that. And on the boots. Now, this one I had already shared with you guys. I just updated it uh, with those new features, which is the new shirt. And uh, I also added now the design on to the knee pads. Now, once 
I had this one. I said, you know what? And Mattel is making us an elite. So let me go ahead and stand this one. It's not working with me. There you go. Mattel is making us an elite. So here we go. Now, I do have the Storm collectibles, but I like to use their parts for these elites because I just feel like they look so much better. And what did I use? You see that bandana, right? You see those glasses right there? Yeah, I went ahead and added those onto this Elite. Painted the knee pads as well as I did with the last one with that Ultimate Edition. You see that detail right there onto the back of the uh, knee pads. And once you add that bandana and those glasses, makes this figure so much cooler than, you know, just the way that it comes out of the box. But I figured there's something I can do where I can, you know, just pretty much use parts from this and that and make it look amazing and here you have it there it is now this right here guys oh my god i freaking love that hulk hogan why because it just does wonders for the figure to have this uh jack's hit scan this looks amazing on this figure now i did not use as you guys can see right here now i'm gonna go ahead and remove the boas i did not use um the mattel shirt i went ahead and had a custom one done this is hulkamania but the belt oh yeah that one is from my storm collectibles so there it is hulkamania and i added the detail also here on the knee pads as you can see right there and it just makes this figure freaking pop and it looks amazing i love how this hulk hogan looks now this is more uh accurate to that 2002 and on era um, this one right here, I want to say is more into the 2005-ish, you know, when he had that feud with Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton, but this right here, these two are more to the Ruthless Aggression era, uh, time for Hulk Hogan, and I just love this fix-up right here, just swap the head, added a shirt, used parts from, you know, a, the Storm Collectible Hogan's that I have here, and, uh, also added the detail like i said onto the knee pads that's one thing you guys can add on to your hogan that'll just take it to the next level as you can see it just looks so much more awesome just like that and you know having this one right here as well which now i'm going to bring up close i want to go ahead and also remove the boa so you kind of can see what i'm talking about when you can see what's underneath this figure looks freaking awesome guys those glasses the bandana fits just right on the mattel head scan it looks freaking sick. Now, that shirt that, you know, Mattel gave us is not a bad shirt. I mean, I'm not, you know, crapping on it or made a custom one that I'm showing you here on the front one because I didn't like that style. No, it's just that I wanted to actually have the accurate look for Hogan from the Ruthless Aggression era. And whether you like it or not, that is not the Ruthless Aggression era. It was more into the PG era. We're getting into the PG era of Hulk Hogan. So here you guys have it. Ultimate Edition, Elite a ruthless aggression era and you have some of that pg era here as well looking freaking sick and i freaking love it but this was my brand new customs and fix-ups video i hope you guys liked it as always if you did remember give me a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and make sure you share this video with your friends and family and in all of your social media forms but for now it's been gizmo 305 and i'll talk to you guys on my next video bye